With the introduction of Labo from Nintendo, there was almost an inevitability that copycats would follow soon after. Quick off the mark were the Chinese naturally, and even before Labo was out, an imitation was already for sale. This is the arcade bracket. By whom? Well, I have no idea, but it's available online and I thought I would give it a try and give you guys a very quick review. Now, unlike Labo, this bad boy does not contain any games. Instead, it's just a quirky little accessory for your Nintendo Switch. Taking inspiration from Labo's card folding gimmick, you can create your own little arcade cabinet for your Nintendo Switch. Literally no instructions came with this. As you can see from my abject engineering skills, I struggled to put it together, only having picture references of a fully assembled one. I got so many things wrong, but it was an enjoyable, if confusing, experience for me. With a bit of grit and determination, I got there in the end. It took about 20 minutes in total. It's all cardboard with joints, and I do actually think it's very cleverly put together. It's much sturdier than I would have imagined. The joint connections feel really solid, and I'm not worried it's going to fall to pieces or the joints pop out or anything like that. It's a solid contraption, quite surprisingly. The Switch's screen fits very snugly inside with no danger of falling out. Sure, you can't access the volume or power buttons, but that's available within the Switch's menu, so it's not that bad. As a nice touch, there's even a hole for a power cord to slip through to keep your console topped up with battery. Now, functionality is important for any accessory product. Now, this arcade bracket is about as useful as a chocolate teapot. It looks pretty funny and quirky, but its actual purpose as an arcade experience isn't exactly great. For a start, the only games that you have full functionality with need to not make use of the shoulder buttons at all, since they are hidden inside the Joy-Con hold. That means even Neo Geo games, you know, the ones that would be really cool to use with this, are only viable with a bit of faffing around. Mario Kart is also a no-go because of drifting. In fact, I can think of very few games from the top of my head that would be okay with this accessory without having to mess about with things or have a lesser experience. So yeah, it's useless. But you know what? It's kind of charming in its presentation. In fact, as unwieldy as it is, I may actually use it as a stand from time to time just because it's a bit funny and it does give you extra height which I've often found to be an awkward problem with the Switch's kickstand. Obviously I won't be using the Joy-Cons in the place they want them to be, instead using the Joy-Con grip so, you know, I can actually play the games properly. I like it. It's useless and cheap, but I like it. This cost me 30 yuan Chinese money, which at the time of writing is £3.50 or $4.70, including postage. You know what? That's fine by me. I do not recommend this whatsoever if you want to get the arcade experience, but as a fun novelty item, sure, why not? There's not really much else to say about it. It's a fold-up arcade cabinet that has very little functionality as an arcade cabinet. It's cool though, and I will certainly use it in a less intended way, just for the novelty of it. I'm going to give it a useless but cool out of 10. Okay guys, I hope you've enjoyed this very mini review of this little product. If you're interested in buying it, I have no idea where you'd get it from. I bought it on Taobao, a Chinese website. Anyways, let me know what you think. Would you like it or is it just useless tat? If you're new here, then be warned, this is not our normal content. We do excellent comprehensive Switch reviews for many, many games as possible and gameplay vids. So we would love it if you stuck around and subscribe for that. We also recommend you heading to the website switchwatch.co.uk for news, reviews and features. It's really worth a daily look. I've been Jordan from Switchwatch and I'll see you guys next time.